Welcome to Washburn Tech East. This was developed through a partnership between Go Topeka, Jado, and Washburn University to help bring some career and technical education over to the east side of town. And this is what that partnership developed. This is the new construction part of the building. This is our atrium area. It's a community space that allows us to project up on the wall with a microphone system, PA system, so we can play videos, host groups in here, allow them to be able to share presentations, that type of stuff. Got a nice little conference room off to the right. Um, this also used to be the Army, Navy, and Reserve Center. The Army side was actually across the field. It was torn out because of a wood, being wood construction, but the Navy and Marine side was still had good bones. It had been stripped of all its copper, so they decided to strip it all the way back to the walls and rebuild it from the inside. Uh, right now, there's nothing on the second floor. It's all down here on the first, and I'm going to show you around. This is our computer lab. Our GED students come in here and take placement tests to see how they're doing, how they're progressing, and to see if they're ready to take the GED test over on the Huntoon campus. Here's our little area that I like to call see behind the walls. So you can, we have a window here that allows our students to actually look behind and see the plumbing for the uh, handicap or the single person stall. And then if you look up, we've got nice color changing lights, but you can also see the hot water, the cold water domestic, the HVAC system, the fresh air intake system, the networking cables, all that good stuff. And so when we have our carpentry program students, they can actually come through, look behind the wall, see how everything's going, um, see how it works in a live building and work from there. This is our data analytics command center. It is helped put together by train. And what this room allows us to do is bring our building automation specialist students over here and look at a live living learning center. Uh, from what we understand, it's one of the first ones in the nations where our students can actually bring up the data for the building they're on, make changes, see that data that changes in the data and run from there. So they can actually see how each room individually is doing track that data over a historical period and make recommendations for how to make the building more efficient, how to adjust the lighting system, how to adjust the heat, the air, uh, the fresh air, the water intake, all that stuff. This is our CDL and also our logistics and production technology classroom. So logistics and production technology is a program we're trying to get started for August of 2020. And it combines a certified production technology program and the certified logistics technology program to help students prepare for a career in the production or manufacturing world. So they learn how to run machines safely, how to do minor repairs on them, and also what the logistics chain looks like. So what do they need to do in order to make sure they have the right supplies in the right places? How do they run forklifts? How do they run a warehouse? How do they run machines uh, safely and all that stuff? This is our ESL or English as a Second Language classroom. We have students in here from all over the world. From We have students from Asia, Latin America, South America. We have students uh, in here from Africa, basically all over coming here to learn the Eng English language. Uh, Max does a really great job with these students. And the best thing about this is when they all come out, they always have a smile on their face and so happy to see you, so happy to be here. It's a great class to have and a great, they're just awesome. <laughs> this is our home health lab. or um, So we have home health aid over here on this campus. And this allows our students to actually have a little bit of a lab that re replicates somebody's house. And so they can actually cook meals for them. They can do dishes. They learn how to get them in and out of the bed. Off to the left over there is a bathroom with a shower in it. So they learn how to get people in and out of the shower safely using lifts and all that stuff. Um, how to fold their laundry, all the little things that they go into the houses to help people do. This is our CNA and CMA, Certified Nurse Aid, Certified Med Aid classroom and lab. And so we have three hospital beds uh, with patients in them and four that do not have patients. So luckily the we got plenty of students so they get to act as patients also while they learn how to be a nurse and learn how to change dressings, how to give out med medication, how to take vitals all that good stuff. Um, it's a great program and great for right now, especially with what's going on essential workers and help fill that need. This is our GED class. Mandy and her group does a great job with it. Uh, they work to help get students into the AOK program while they're in the GED program. The AOK is Accelerating Opportunities in Kansas. 
And what that program allows them to do is while they're working on their GED, they can take a career program for free. So right now, carpentry, nursing, CDL are all part of that um, AOK program. We also have welding and machine tool on the other campus where they can take those. Um, basically trying to get them their high school diploma and also get them their career trade at the same time. Speaking of carpentry, this is one of my favorite areas is back here in the carpentry lab. I love the smell of wood uh, sawdust. Back here in this room, they learn how to build buildings inside of buildings. Um, many of you probably might have heard me say that several times, and this is what they build. And so you can see they're doing wood stud construction, metal stud construction. They do the house wrap, the plywood, put some siding on, put doors, windows in. They even do some of the rafter work up above. So they learn how to do the rafters. And I think they even do a little bit of sheathing on top and a little bit of putting on actual uh, shingles. Here's our nice little wood pile our students build and rebuild from. Um, amazingly, the boards get shorter and shorter and shorter until they end up getting donated to the Kansas Discovery Museum over at um, Gage Park where our, the students build stuff out of them over there, a uh, little wood shop area. But anyhow, I wanted to say thank you for everything you guys have done to help make this such a success over here in East Topeka. It's awesome to see the ability for our students to be able to walk to school instead of having to um, take a two hour bus ride across town to be able to learn a career trade and move up in the world. So thank you very much. Have a great day.